Hello and welcome to this weekend edition of the Daily Dose of Greek. Maybe you know that in the late 1800s, the early 1900s, there was a lot of excitement about all the papyri that had been discovered and were being translated, the Greek papyri, and so New Testament scholars became aware of this just vast wealth of material uh, that helped inform the New Testament. So vocabulary words that beforehand were um, people thought, well, that's used kind of strange, or this is, you know, a unique divine Greek usage. They became aware, wait, there's this huge body of everyday literature in Koine Greek through thousands of letters and shopping lists and, and land contracts, and, and, and this mirrors the language of the New Testament. How helpful it is to have all these materials. Well, Put, it, put out in eight different fascicles during the early 1900s was a new lexicon, a dictionary, based on these papyri. And uh, then it was put together and published as one volume. Vocabulary of the Greek New Testament, edited by Moulton and Milligan. Vocabulary, pardon me, of the, not the Greek New Testament, but just vocabulary of the Greek Testament. Vocabulary of the Greek Testament. Testament by Moulton and Milligan. Now you can get this free uh, on because the copyright has expired on the internet, on Internet Archive. I think the website is just archive.org. Go on there, you type in this title, you can pull up a, a high quality digital scan of the entire lexicon. It's, it's absolutely fascinating because it illustrates the vocabulary of the New Testament with these ordinary, everyday um, documents that have been preserved in the sands of Egypt. So really cool stuff. Um, this, uh, this one volume I think was published in 1930 and some people say well what about papyri since then? You know the papyri that continue to be published, inscriptions, other things that illustrate the, the language of the Greek New Testament. Well there is a series published by out of Macquarie University in Australia it's entitled New Documents Illustrating Early Christianity. I think there are about 10 volumes out roughly. I mean, the most recent volume I believe is available on Amazon, but the full title of the series, New Documents Illustrating Early Christianity, it's usually referred to uh, by people who use it as New Docs. So New Docs Volume 1, New Docs Volume 2, and so on. I personally have only used it in the library, but when I when I have used it, I found it absolutely fascinating. You know, to to look in the the indices in the back for a particular word, and then to find everyday uses of it from papyri or inscriptions. I'm the one one word that I'm remembering. I I did more extensive work on was apostolos, right? And uh, it was striking um, how many examples that ap for apostello apostolos the word was used more frequently in these papyri and in these inscriptions related to religious sending as opposed to other words for sending that were available in Greek. So it had these, it had, in pagan context, it was used more frequently for uh, sending related to religious activity, which is maybe striking in terms of how the New Testament authors uh, chose this word to communicate sending within their context. So. All that's to say, if you've never checked out Moulton and Milligan, this is usually referred to as Moulton and Milligan, and maybe you've even seen it abbreviated MM in footnotes, vocabulary of the Greek Testament, go on archive.org, the Internet Archive, and check it out, or maybe even order a hard copy of it.